Hello, mathematical literacy learners. Welcome to lesson two of measurements. Okay, so we're going to look at perimeter and area in this lesson. It's going to be maybe three or four parts, depending on how far we can we need to go to cover everything. And then, of course, lesson three will be volume. And then we will just keep revising exam questions. So let's get started with perimeter. The first thing we need to know about perimeter is that it is the total distance around a 2D object. Right. So now if I'm looking at a 2D object like this one, which is a rectangular, the distance or total distance around would be, let's start from this corner here. It will be that distance plus this distance plus the bottom part plus the left side. And that will be the total distance around the shape. Right. And then if we look at this one, let's start from this corner. It will be that four plus that four plus that five, which is the total distance around the triangular shape. Right, and then we're going to look at the dis the circumference, which is the perimeter of a circle. It's got its own name. It's called a circumference. A circumference is the total distance around a circle. Right? Okay. So let's look at that. That would be going all the way around. That is all the way back to where we started as the total di distance around a circle, which is called a circumference. Now, the important thing to note with a circle is that it has a diameter, which is very important when we are using, um, when we are using circles and making calculations. Okay, so we have a diameter which is the distance from the beginning across the center all the way to the end of a circle, right? So that distance from here, from the beginning of the circle, right here, going through the center, all the distance there, and all the way there, right? From the beginning of the center, going through the circle to the end, that will be the diameter, okay? If we cut the diameter in half or divide the diameter into twos, we get a radius this side and a radius this side. So from the big center to the end, we have now what we would call a radius, right? So we have a diameter from the beginning through the center to the end, and then we can cut the diameter into two and get a radius on one side and a radius on the other. So the radius is half the diameter. So if you have a diameter and you need the radius, just break it into two pieces, right? Just break it. What can I break? <laughs> just if you have a diameter like this, just break it into two pieces and then you have a radius, right? Okay. Um, now we're going to look at a half a circle over here. This half a circle, we're going to look at how, where is the perimeter here? Okay, this part is half of a circle, and then this distance here is straight. We cannot use the formula of a circle to find the perimeter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the distance around the semicircle, and then we're going to add it with the 5 here, and then we get the perimeter around this entire area right let's say this is a pool it's shaped like this and we want to paint it this wall right near is straight but this one has a circular shape right so the total would be finding this one using the formula of a circle and then adding that one there now let's try another one this one if we were trying to find the perimeter of one piece of pizza, right? So we would have two straight lines, one like that, one like that, and then we would have the circular part over there. This is one out of four pieces of a circle, right? Okay. Now, there are shapes that are different. We will get to irregular shapes as well, but this one is a rectangular shape. And it has the outer distance, and then it has a shaded area, and then it has an inner space there with the distances on the inner part. So be very careful when they ask a perimeter. Are they asking the perimeter of the whole thing, big rectangle, or are they asking for the perimeter of the small rectangle? They also do the same thing when it comes to area. Are they asking the per area of everything? Are they asking the area of the small part here? 
Are they asking the area of the shaded part? We get to that. Same with the circle as well. We have two circles here. We have the bigger circle, which is a whole thing. Then we have a smaller circle in there. Then we have the shaded part, right? Okay. Let's calculate for these first three shapes. The rectangle, the triangle, and the circle. Let's calculate the perimeter on those first. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to try and do this rectangle. Perimeter here is like this. That's 5 meters and that's 3 meters. So now if you notice, we're not given the distance here and we're not given the distance here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that side is the same as this one. So that one is 3 meters. And then if you look at this side, it's the same as that one, just straight. Okay, look at that one the same so that one is also five meters now we can calculate the perimeter by saying perimeter is equal to start with the three meters plus five meters plus three meters plus five meters right and then that is 16 meters so we're going to come and do this rectangle here which is like that this side is four meters that side is four meters and this side is Five meters. I'm just going to go with that. Okay. So now what we're going to say is we're going to say here perimeter is equal to. So we can start anywhere. We're going to say five meters plus four meters plus this four meters, and then we have thirteen meters is the perimeter there. Okay. Now we're going to do the circle. Circumference of a circle, right? The circumference. Calculate the circumference if the diameter is five meters. Now, the formula of a perimeter of a, of a circumference is equal to two pi r. We're going to start with this one. There's another one that says pi times diameter okay so we're gonna start with this one and then we're gonna do this one and then we we'll see if we get the same answer okay let's use the one that says 2 pi r first okay this just means that 2 times pi times r now pi will be given to you as 3 comma 1 4 2 so you don't have to worry about that okay now let's go we have the formula says 2 i always write this circumference is our unknown here multiplied by pi which is 3 comma 1 4 2 multiplied by the radius now if i come here there's no radius here yeah? we're given the diameter but we can find the radius by cutting the diameter into two which means what we're going to do is we're going to say five divided by two and then we're going to get the radius which is equal to 2 comma 5 meters and then we're going to say 2 comma 5 meters there and then we're going to use our calculator that is 15 comma 71 meters and we have our circumference day right now what i want to do is i'm going to use this formula over here oh there's no space there and say circumference is equal to pi d remember circumference is called to pi d also means pi times diameter right okay so circumference is equal to three comma one four two times our diameter remember the diameter they said it's five meters and therefore, I'm just going to substitute there. Instead of diameter, I'm going to write 5 meters. Then I'm going to calculate by saying 15,71 meters magic. The last perimeter for now that I'm going to do is the semicircle. Okay, so we're saying that this are all the walls. And we just need to know what is the perimeter on this whole shape. Remember, the perimeter is a total distance around the object, right? So what we're going to do is we're first going to calculate as if... Let me do this. So that run, it says there it's 2,5 meters. That distance there is 2,5. And that one there... Uh, is five meters okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to calculate the circular part of the perimeter now what i'm going to do is i'm going to imagine that this is a full circle right and then i'm going to use the formula two 
circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Now be very careful. When you are given formulas, they might say perimeter of a semicircle is equal to, and then they give you the right formula, and then you don't have to do this, but sometimes they won't, right? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, circumference is equal to 2 times what is pi 3 comma 1 for 2 times 2 comma 5 which is the radius remember 5 divided by 2 gives us the radius the diameter divided by 2 gives us the radius 2 comma 5 meters and therefore we substitute 2 comma 5 meters there and we get 15 comma 71 meters now the problem with this is this is a perimeter of an entire full circle we don't have that so we're going to take the answer and we're going to cut it in half so we're going to divide it by 2 and get 7,855 meters. So this part, the distance there is 7,855 meters. Now plus this one. So the total perimeter here is equal to 7,855 meters plus 5 meters. And then we get 12 comma eight five five meters delicious we have a shape like this and we are told to calculate the perimeter now this side is five meters this one is three meters this one is seven meters and this one is five meters right so what happens is we're looking at this and we're saying wait a minute okay so what we problem is here we don't have a distance here we don't have a distance here where are we going to get them? So we're going to, let's start from 7 and look this side. If I look down here, I can see that this length here is the same as that length there, right? From this corner to this end here, it's total of 7 meters. And this part is 5, which means this one is 7 minus 2, and that is going to minus 5, and that is going to be 2. So this part is 2 meters. Same thing this side. This side is 5. And if I go all the way there, I'm going to see that this is the same length. Okay, so from that corner to that con to that end there, it's 5 meters. And then this distance here is the same as that one there, which means this one is 3 meters. And therefore, this one will be 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. This distance is the same Oh, yeah. <laughs> this distance here is the same, which is 5 minus 3, which means this one is 2, right? Now we can do our thing where we say start here, perimeter is equal to 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5, and we get a total of 24 meters.